Celebrity Dr. Mehmet Oz was reportedly booed at former President Donald Trump's rally in Greensburg, Pennsylvania on Friday evening. The shocking turns of event is something no one expected. Well, before getting into details, welcome back to Next News Hour. If you're new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell. Trump brought his Save America rally series to Pennsylvania in support of Oz's candidacy for U.S. Senate. Along with Trump, Ohio Republican Senate nominee J.D. Vance, Rep. John Joyce, Rep. Mike Kelly, Rep. Alex Mooney, Oz, and others were slated to speak at Friday night's rally. However, Oz faced boos from the crowd before he took the stage. According to rally's attendees, the crowd booed Oz as his ads played on screen. Huffington Post reporter Daniel Moraz tweeted, I have yet to meet anyone here who is a firm supporter of Dr. Ross. In fact, there is a whole section of people that boos every time he appears on screen. The crowd also booed when the other speakers mentioned Oz's name on stage. Pittsburgh Post Gadget's Jillian McGoldrick tweeted, U.S. Representative Guy Reschenthaler speaking now about why he endorsed Dr. Ross. Dr. Ross's name got some boos. Business Insider political reporter Jake Lahat tweeted, Yet another set of boos for Oz when Vance mentions him, mixed with some cheers. Lahat added, Unlike the boos accompanying Dr. Oz, Mike Lindell gets a huge ovation. One user tweeted, I'm watching the rally. The crowd is booing every time they mention Dr. Oz. The crowd didn't lighten up once Oz took the stage either. As Oz came out on stage, the crowd continued to boo the Pennsylvania Senate candidate. However, rally staffers reportedly turned up the music coming from the stage in an attempt to drown out the crowd's boos. Another user tweeted, They blasted music when Oz came out, presumably to drown out the boos. One rally attendee who supports Katie Burnett for U.S. Senate told Morales that Oz and I quote, is not a conservative, is not a Pennsylvanian, and he is not someone who would represent us well. Okay, um, I'm talking to Carrie Camley from Greensburg. She's a small business owner. And Carrie, you feel very strongly that Trump made the wrong decision about Dr. Oz. How would you summarize that? Absolutely. I think that maybe they were friends long before either got into politics, and that would be the reason for his but he is not a conservative, he is not a Pennsylvanian, and he is not someone who would represent us well. We have three out-of-state millionaires trying to waltz in and buy our governor's seat, or sorry, our Senate seat, when we have a true Pennsylvanian, Kathy Barnett, willing to fight for us, who is a strong conservative, a strong Christian, strongly pro-life, and will represent our values and our families. Okay, thank you so much, Carrie. Appreciate you. Ouch. Well, let us know which side you're on and share them in the comments down below. And also, share this news and support us through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.